Hello teachers! This presentation has been created to give you updates and changes regarding the pre-registration process and course selection for current students. Thank you for viewing. As you will see on the screen, there are changes. The district has moved away from using a course card. Instead, students will use a student planning guide to make their course selections for next school year. The reason for this change is explained on the right side of the screen. Our superintendent is leading the charge on a new way of thinking that allows for increased student choice and opportunity. Also, as a district, the pre-registration process is moving in the direction of eventually becoming a paperless process. We are in the midst of this transition right now. Therefore, the district has already made the move away from paper course cards. However, since we have not fully arrived at a paperless process just yet, the student planning guide will be utilized to assist in the selection of courses for this school year. As always, counselors will be meeting with students to guide them in their course selections. Some of you may be wondering about those courses that have traditionally required a teacher signature. You will see on the screen that signatures are no longer required. It is our superintendent's vision that we embrace what's best for kids and stop gatekeeping our programs. His vision is for students to have voice and choice in their school course choices and for us to embrace opportunities for them to try new adventures and challenges. While this is a large shift in our thinking and in the way we have always done things, we are confident this way of thinking will lead our students to their own levels of ownership in their learning. Bullet number two references students enrolling in the course that is the natural progression to their current placement. For example, if I am in Art 1 as a 6th grader, my natural progression is to enroll in Art 2 as a 7th grader. Should I choose to continue to take art? Another example would be if I am in FCS. The natural progression would be for me to enroll in FCS 2. There is no longer a teacher signature needed. Notice the exception for math. Math teachers. This procedure is the same as it has always been. In a nutshell, students who are interested in making the jump from grade level to pre-AP math will need to take a summer placement test in order to do this. In the meantime, the student should sign up for grade level math for the next school year. Counselors will be having these discussions with students during guidance. However, we wanted to share information with all teachers to keep you informed and to also give you the tools you may need in the event that a student or parent has a question. Pre-AP. Keeping in mind the shift Dr. Woods has asked us to embrace with regard to student voice and choice when it comes to course selections, you might remember that we made the shift last school year in the way we approached enrollment in pre-AP courses. To review, last year, Students and parents were given the option to choose to enroll in pre-AP. There is no more teacher signature or approval. Having said this, the slide that you see before you is the information we share with parents at our parent nights. The guidelines listed at the bottom are just that, guidelines. They are not intended to be viewed as requirements that must be met before a pre-AP course can be selected. Many parents needed something to which they could refer to to assist them in making this important choice and thus these guidelines were created. Think of them as items the parent and student should take into consideration when making course selections. This slide is likely where the largest mind shift will take place. Last year, we began to shift our thinking with regard to the selection of pre-AP classes. That mind shift will expand this year to include athletics, performing arts, and advanced electives. As previously stated, as we move forward, no courses will require a teacher or coach signature. This means if a student wishes to be in athletics, they can sign up. If I am in sixth grade beginner band, 
I will follow the natural progression and sign up for intermediate band or seventh grade band. If I am a seventh grader in intermediate choir or theater, I will sign up for advanced choir or theater as an eighth grader. Notice the information included on this slide. Once online, online registration has been completed, teachers and coaches of these courses will be given a list indicating student choices. At that point, we will ask teachers to review for appropriateness and accuracy. While it is ultimately a parent-student choice as to what course the student will select, please do not let this overshadow the incredible responsibility we have as professionals to educate parents and students about our programs. It is also our professional responsibility to advocate for students and ensure proper placement so students can experience success. Once these lists come out, should a student appear to have registered for a course that is not in their best interest, parent contact should be made to discuss other options and hopefully arrive at agreement. However, if the parent and student wish to maintain their current selection, the selection will stand teacher should document their efforts. So what is the plan moving forward? The role teachers have traditionally played has changed tremendously. There is no more course cards. Therefore, there is no more course card carry day, no more dissemination and collection of cards and checking for parent signatures, and no more signing. However, the role teachers continue to play is important and necessary. Please start now. Discussion with your students about the differences in grade level courses versus pre-AP courses. Coaches should begin now with their discussions about athletics and expectation. Elective teachers should start now discussing the next level of the course they teach. I caution you to be transparent, but not intimidating. We want parents and students to feel informed so they can make informed decisions. We want to guard against discouraging students from trying new things. While not intentional, please be mindful in your words and approach to maintain transparency, but not scare students away from new opportunities. Please remind students and parents that the selections they choose are year-long commitments. Challenge them to challenge themselves in reasonable ways. One last thing, teachers and coaches should consider making preemptive phone calls now to share professional thoughts, opinions, and assessments about best placement for students. We want to be sure parents and students are making informed decisions and you as professionals have valuable information to share that can be comforting to consider during the decision-making process. Jefferson's plan moving forward is as you see on the screen. Throughout the month of February, counselors will meet with all students via ELA classes. During this time, course selections will be discussed and planning guides will be completed. On that day, students will also enter selections into the online registration system, otherwise known as HAC or Home Access Center. At a later time, students will receive a letter home indicating student selections and may make changes up until the last day of school. During this time frame, this is also when teachers, primarily coaches and electives, will receive lists indicating student choices. For our current eighth graders, high school counselors will visit Jefferson during the last week in January to complete planning guides with students. Once these are complete, Jefferson counselors will meet with eighth grade ELA classes as well to enter course selections in HAC. Lastly, we leave you with important dates to remember. We will be hosting a combined 6th and 7th grade parent night on Monday, January 29th here in the cafeteria to inform parents about our pre-registration process. That evening will begin at 6 p.m. We appreciate anything teachers can do to help us inform parents and spread the word. Once the flyer has been created, we will share it with you. The next date window you see there is when students will be selecting courses. Therefore, you have from today until February 5th to have conversations, discussions, and make phone calls 
to whomever you feel necessary to discuss course selections prior to students completing the pre-registration process. Thank you for your time and attention. In closing, I leave you with this thought. Great things never came from comfort zones. Change is good. Thank you, Eagles.